Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our sixth lesson on transformations, whereby we are looking at our example number six. So, part A of the question reads that draw quadrilateral PQRS whose coordinates are given, and also on the same grid, draw P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime, the image of PQR whose coordinates are also provided. So uh, we need to uh, plot this particular point, which is uh, our point uh, P. So the point P has the coordinates of uh, 2, 4. So this is, uh, of course, the Y axis. Then this is our X axis. So 2, 4. So 2 on the X axis, then 4 on the Y axis. So this coordinate will actually be here. So this is our point uh, P. That is uh, 2, 4. Then point Q, we have uh, 1, 2, so this is 1, then positive 2 is here, so this is our coordinate uh, Q. Then from there, we move to R, which is uh, 2, 3, so this is 2, then positive 3 is in between uh, here, so this is uh, R. Then lastly, we have S, which is 5, 1, so this is positive 5, then 1 uh, will be here, so this is P, Q, R, then S. Of course, after that, I'm going to uh, join uh, those particular uh, coordinates. So I'm going to join uh, P to Q. So I simply join them in the order given. Huh? So P should be joined to Q. Then, of course, uh, Q to be joined to R. Then uh, R to be joined to uh, S. Then, of course, S should be joined to the uh, starting point, which was uh, the coordinate uh, P. So this is our quadrilateral. Then also uh, we are required to plot uh, P prime, Q prime, R prime, which is actually uh, the image of PQR under certain transformation. So P prime I'm given as negative 2, 4. So this is uh, negative 2, then uh, negative 4. So negative 2, negative 4. So this point will be here. So this is what we are calling our P uh, prime. Then Q prime is negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1, negative 2. It will be here. Uh, so this is our Q uh, prime. Then we move to R prime is negative 2, negative 3. So negative 2. Then negative 3 is here. Uh, P, Q. So this is R prime. Then S prime is negative 5, negative 1. So negative 5, uh, negative 1 is here. So this is our S prime. Then of course we are going to join... Uh, those coordinates. So I'm going to join uh, P prime to uh, Q prime. So P prime should be joined to uh, Q uh, prime, then P Q, then R. So Q prime to be joined to R prime, then of course R prime to be joined to uh, S prime, then of course S prime to be joined uh, to the starting point. Uh, so this one, uh, R prime, uh, should be joined to S prime. So our S should be here. Then, of course, S prime to be joined to the starting point, which was uh, P prime. So these are our quadrilaterals. Then part B, we are told that use construction method uh, to locate the center of enlargement and hence state the, uh, its coordinates. So if you want to locate the center of enlargement, you are going to join any two a corresponding point that is uh, of an object and its image so let me join s to uh, s prime so s to s prime then i'll also join r uh, to r prime so this is r i join it to uh, r prime you can also join a q to q prime so this is my q i join it to q prime you can also join a p to p prime so this is p i join it to p prime so the point of intersection of those particular lines will give us the center of enlargement for that particular case. Therefore, uh, clearly, our center of enlargement will be the point zero, zero. So the center of enlargement, the center of enlargement will be zero, zero. That is our center of enlargement. Then remember, whenever the center of enlargement is uh, in between the object and its image, it means the scale factor must be negative so part b we are told to uh, find the scale factor of this particular enlargement uh. so remember scale factor the scale factor 
uh, can be given by the image distance the image uh, distance then you divide with uh, the object distance so image distance divided by the object distance so in this particular case our i want to use uh, any two uh, remember the ratios should be constant uh? so if i take for example the distance uh, s prime uh, to p prime then uh, i divide with sp this ratio should be equal to the scale factor which should be equal to the distance uh, p prime uh, to q prime then divided with uh, the distance pq then uh, which should be equal to the distance of what uh, r prime to q prime uh, divided with uh, rq so these distances should always be equal to uh, the scale factor so this should give us the scale uh, factor so uh, I want to use the distance of r prime to uh, q uh, prime so that means my scale factor will be equal to so r prime to q uh, prime you can see I am having two boxes uh, so we have one box here then the second one so the distance I'm having two units then divided by uh, so remember in this case I'm using um, I'm using uh, r prime to q prime so this is r prime uh, to q prime then I, I'm dividing with r uh, q so from r prime to q prime I'm having two boxes uh, so this is one box then the second one so it is uh, two units then divided by the distance from r to q so this is r then this is q so in between i'm also having one box then two boxes so it is still two units huh? so it means the scale factor should actually be one but because the center of enlargement is in between uh, the object this one and its image it means the scale factor must be negative therefore the scale factor will actually be negative one Otherwise, if the center was uh, outside, for example, if the center was at this particular point, then in that case, the scale factor will be positive. But provided the center of enlargement is in between uh, the object and its image, it means the scale factor was negative. Therefore, uh, the scale factor was actually negative 1. So the scale factor is uh, negative 1. So we are told to find the scale factor of enlargement, hence define uh, the enlargement fully. Remember, definition of an enlargement is given by the scale factor and also uh, what we call the center of enlargement. Therefore, the definition of the, uh, the enlargement will be: uh, it is an enlargement. It is an enlargement uh, center center zero zero, then scale factor negative one. So this is how to fully define an enlargement. You give the center of enlargement and also the scale factor of that particular enlargement then part e of the question they want us to determine the matrix m of this particular enlargement so let me uh, create some space so that i can uh, uh, look for the matrix of this particular uh, enlargement so remember if you want to find the matrix of enlargement if you take uh, the matrix of transformation then you multiply uh, with the object it should actually give you the uh, image Therefore, I will let the matrix of transformation to actually be represented by uh, the coordinates A, B, uh, C, and D. Therefore, if I multiply this one with any points on the object, for example, I can choose uh, the coordinate of uh, uh, R and Q. So the coordinates of R for this case, R I was given as uh, 2, 3. So I'm using R and uh, Q. So the coordinate for point R were actually uh, R I had 2, 3. So this was 2, uh, 3. Then uh, Q, Q I had 1, 2. So this was 1, 2. Uh, so this should be equal to uh, the image of these particular points, which will be R prime and also uh, Q prime. So the coordinate of R prime, I'm um, given as uh, R prime was negative 2, negative 3. So negative 2, negative 3. Then Q prime was of course negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1, uh, negative uh, 2. So actually I need more space here. So let me uh, wrap this part so that I can use it uh, for my calculation. So this will be, we just need to find the values of A, B, uh, C, and D. 
so of course these are matrix we are going to uh, multiply uh, that is the first uh, row with the first column so of course this will be a multiplied by 2 I'm going to get a uh, 2a then I'm going to add uh, b multiplied by 3 I'm going to get uh, 3b then this one multiplied by the second uh, column so first row and the second column so this will be a multiplied by 1 I'll just get uh, a then I add uh, b multiplied by 2 I'll get a uh, 2b then I move to the second uh, row and the first column so this will be 2c uh, 2c then I'm going to add a d multiplied by 3 I'll get a uh, 3d then second column second uh, second row second column I'll have c multiplied by 1 which will give me c then of course I add a d multiplied by 2 I'll get a uh, 2d so this one should be able uh, to give me uh, the coordinates of the image which are negative 2 uh, negative 3 and also negative 1 uh, negative 2 so I'm simply going to equate elements in the same position so this one is in the same position with this therefore 2a plus uh, 3b must give me negative 2 similarly uh, a plus 2b should be able to give me negative 1 huh? so a plus uh, 2b I'm supposed to get negative 1 so I can solve this by elimination method so if I solve by elimination I'm going to multiply the second equation by 2 so that I'll have a 2a plus a 3b being equal to negative 2 then this one by 2 I'll have 2a then uh, multiplied by a 2 by 2b by 2 I'll get a 4b so this one should be able to give me negative 2 so I'm going to subtract uh, these two equations so of course this one will give you 0 then plus this will be negative b is equals to negative 2 minus minus 2 I'm going to get 0 so it simply means the value of b will be equal to 0 I also compute for a I want to substitute in one of the equations let me substitute in 2a plus 3b is equals to negative 2 so this will be a 2a then plus 3 the value of b is 0 this should give me negative 2 Therefore, it means 2a will actually be equal to negative 2 because this part will be 0. So it means a will be equal to negative 2 over 2, which is giving you a negative 1. Then I can also form other equations from this, uh, its corresponding value. So I have 2c uh, plus 3d, which should give me a negative 3. Then this one should be equal to this. Therefore, uh, c then multiplied by uh, 2d it should give me a uh, negative 2 again I want to use the elimination so I multiply this by 2 so that I'll have a uh, 2c plus 3d uh, being equal to negative 3 then this will be 2c then plus uh, 4d because 2 by 2 will, you'll get 4 uh, being equal to negative uh, 4 that is negative 2 by 2 so I subtract the two equations so this will be 0 3 minus 4d I'll get negative uh, d being equal to negative 3 minus minus 4 this will be negative 3 then plus 4 so that means negative d will be equal to uh, negative that is positive 1 therefore the value of d if you divide through by negative d will be negative 1 so I want to substitute in the this equation as uh, c plus 2d is equals to negative 2 I'm substituting in this equation here so c then plus 2 multiplied by d which is negative 1 it should give me negative 2 so if I solve for the value of c I'm going to have c uh, minus 2 is equals to minus 2 therefore it means that the value of c will actually be equal to negative 2 plus 2 which of course will give you 0 so it means our matrix of transformation it was uh, a uh, b c and d therefore it will be equal to uh, the value of a we are we had already uh, gotten the value of a as negative 1 so a is a uh, negative 1 then the value of b uh, b was actually 0 so b is 0 <coughs> then the value of c we have gotten uh, the value of c as 0 so c is 0 then the value of d uh, we got it as negative 1 so this is negative 1 therefore this is our matrix of uh, transformation. So the matrix of transformation M is 
negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. So we'll be looking at further examples on the same topic. This is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.